She's called the first lady of football. Olivia Manning is here. Do you feel like the – does does that term bother you at all, or do you enjoy that? It's kind of funny. I, I, I don't mind being the first lady of football. I really don't. It's kind of funny after all these years you'd hear about, hear about Peyton and Eli, uh, sons of Archie Manning. I'm kind of like, what about me? <laughs> That's absolutely true. Believe me, I had those babies. You did all those the work, Those 12-pound right? babies, I did. <laughs> were so. they really 12? <laughs> they I'm, were. Oh, my goodness. They really were. Uh, of course, I have Cooper also, my oldest son. Sure. That lives here in New Orleans with us. So, I, yeah, I'll take that title any day. What is Jackie Harbaugh going through this week? I just, I can't imagine. I've really been thinking about um, the Harbaugh's, the parents. We've played uh, Cooper. I mean, Peyton and Eli have played each other twice mm -hmm. through the years. They'll play each other again in the fall. They'll have a regular season game in New York. But uh, never on a stage like this, never the Super Bowl. And, and I hope it happens one day. I really do because I can deal with it. I just can remember when they played each other and you're standing there for the um, national anthem. Your boys are on either side of that football field. You're just filled with pride. You really just want to burst. And then the game starts and, and the nerves really kick in. But at the end of the game, and in Peyton and Eli's case, Peyton's team had beaten, has, has beaten Eli's twice. You know, he's the, Eli's the one with the long, sad face. And that, that memory kind of sticks in your heart, too. So I do feel for them. Yeah, one of those brothers has to lose on Sunday. That's right. But I just won't say lose. I just, because they're, they're not, I'm just saying the other one's going to win. But playing in a regular season game, you have a game the next week. So you've got to move forward quickly. In the Super Bowl, that's it. So he's going to have a long time to, to think about it. They're always the what ifs, what ifs, what if I'd call this play, what if we had done this. So I do feel for the parents, I really do. But they must be so, so proud. I mean, Archie was a pretty fair quarterback himself. How early did you know that those boys had it, looking back on it, from a mom's they, intuition? Uh, the boys never played any football until middle school. And uh, Peyton, of course, was quarterback and sort of bossy and um, calling the shots at an early age. But Archie never really pushed, oh, you, you need to be a college player, you need to go to the NFL. We just let them enjoy. They didn't, they didn't, the high school they went to was uh, not a super competitive sports uh, oriented school. It was really kind of focused more on education. So they just played fun high school football. But then Peyton got to be a sophomore and was the starting quarterback. We had some friends that would come to games and they would sort of say to Archie, you know, Peyton is a really nice player. So we kind of started focusing, noticing that a little bit then, and he just loved it so much. So I always had that passion. When do parents push too hard? I think when they're playing contact football, when they're pre, um, you know, pre middle schoolers, when they're in the fourth and fifth grade, I think that's a little bit too young. I think that ought to be flag football if they if they really want to play football at that age. You know, in Texas, they probably start start them pretty young. Absolutely, they do. Yeah. But I mean, parents have a tendency. You know, you live in you know, the old saying, living vicariously through your kids. Do you right. see that? Do you think parents well, I sometimes think, try to I do that? I think parents don't need to be the ones. If those kids really don't want to be out there, I, I think they need to, to listen to it. There, there are other sports. There are plenty of other sports they could they could be involved in. But um, I will say we were very fortunate high school to have great coaches. And, and as far as being protected, I think my boys have been so fortunate having great offensive linemen, and then they get rid of that football pretty quick. But believe me, I'm always tuned in to are they on the ground? I, sometimes I don't know if they've completed the pass. I'm, I'm watching what's happening behind the line. There's been a lot of talk recently about concussions. The president even said this week that if he had a son, of course he has two daughters, but if he had a son, he'd think twice before he let him play mm -hmm. football. Did, did How much did you worry and did you think twice about it yourself? No, because that's just something they wanted to do. And, and football's going to live on. Believe me, you know yeah, that. Sure. Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas, I mean, it's huge and across the country. So, no, but I, I think you want to make sure they've got the right equipment. And I think schools are doing that. You know, the helmets are, are, are different. I know if you notice Peyton, when he pulls his helmet off on the sideline, somebody said to me, Peyton's helmet's too small. And we know it's not. It fits so firmly and so tightly. It's, he's always got this little red mark across his forehead. But that's because he's got that helmet that won't budge. Before I ask you about Zatarans, it's funny. The, uh, the This week, Peyton's in town. Now, he could afford the... Nicest hotel room in New Orleans, but he's staying at he your house, home. right? <laughs> That's cool. He came home to Mama. <laughs> he did, and I'm pretty excited about having him. And I've he's got, got his Eli family, too. right? Peyton's got his family. Eli's here with his 
his um, two-year-old, almost two-year-old daughter and his wife, and this doesn't happen very often. We really haven't been together under one roof since last year in February. Uh, they were all they all came in from Mardi Gras. So, granted, I'd rather be playing in this game, but we're not. So it's really it's really fun having them at home. Olivia, uh, nothing like a Super Bowl party. That's right. Okay. I haven't had one in a while. Are you going to have one on I'm Sunday? I'm going to have one on game? Sunday. Oh no, we're going. I'm going to have it at home. We're not okay. going to the game. And, and you know, when you've played, we've played in the last four out of the past six years. So to go sit at the game and watch somebody else, it's not as exciting for me. I'd much rather watch it on television. And and I'm going to host. I'm going to have all this good food for right. my kids. Well, tell me about this good food. That you well, got. I'm going to start with uh, a jambalaya dish, and it's made from zatarans jambalaya mix. And it's delicious. It's easy. It's one pot. It's a rice base, and then you add smoked sausage, chicken. You can add, add some shrimp. What time do you want me to be there? Uh, you come on over. <laughs> <laughs> Party starts early. So that's going to kind of be my main go-to dish. And then I'll have all the other traditional things you have, the chicken wings and tacos and some everything, a little bit of everything. Pretty excited about having my boys at home. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Appreciate oh, thank that. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much.